How to crush your golf irons. Without doubt one of the best feelings in golf is really crush an iron and just seeing it sail off into the distance. It's got that lovely feeling of really compressing it into the ground and it just feels absolutely fantastic. And maybe you're struggling to really crush your irons, you're hitting a lot of thin ones and toe ones, and you're really not sure how to really crush them and get that great feeling. Well, in this next video, I'm gonna show you a really simple drill. This is unbelievably simple. It's really gonna have some great effects on your golf irons. So stick around, let's get into it. Hey, it's Troy here from HittingItSolid.com. At this channel, I give you the best golf tips with at-home golf drills that lead to long-lasting improvement in your golf game. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get it helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. Let's get started. So you want to know how to crush your golf irons. Well, it's a good thing you're here because today I'm going to show you probably one of the easiest drills or swing thoughts that's going to show you how to crush those irons every time. Now, before we get stuck into that, I'm just going to walk you through a couple of key points and why you might not be crushing your irons. So make sure you stick around to the end. I will get into that drill very shortly. But first of all, I want to talk about some key areas that you need to understand to be able to really crush those irons. And without doubt, if I'm setting up just to an imaginary ball here, Without doubt, one of the most common things I see, and you might do this yourself, why golfers, why you might be struggling to crush your irons is on the downswing, you're losing that, you're losing that, that what's known as that lag angle. So my backswing, you see this angle between my lead arm and the club there, that's what's called lag. And most commonly, and you might be doing this yourself, on the downswing, you just see that lag angle disappear and you get into this scooping this sort of this weak motion at impact which re re results in a lot of weak fin and toe basically a lot of inconsistent golf shots so by understanding that what we want to get into is at a position where we've got that lag angle somewhere around that right thigh and then we're hitting into the golf ball and we're getting that forward shaft lean that i've spoken about so much on the channel and the other key area with losing that lag it's got a lot to do with this right shoulder typically i see golfers that struggle to really crush their irons this right shoulder really just seems to hang back on the rear side of the ball so it looks something like this you'll come down and this rear shoulder it just hangs back stays back here it really drops significantly lower than the left and you'll be sort of like this trying to hit the golf ball now this rear shoulder it plays such a key role and not just with your irons but in every club in the bag on that downswing it's really key this this rear shoulder or right shoulder for a right hander really works down and really comes forward and really gets over this side of the ball and this is where this next drill ties into it has a lot to do with what this rear shoulder is doing so I just want you to understand on your downswing it's really important this rear shoulder just doesn't stay back here because that will get you into a lot of strife particularly with your irons it'll make it next to impossible to get lag and get that forward shaft lean that you need to really crush your iron all right out further ado let's get stuck into this really simple drill okay here's a really simple drill to help you crush your golf iron so all you're going to need for this is now i've got an alignment stick here but you can do this with a, a golf club or really any object that you can lie down on the ground something that doesn't sort of stick too far above the ground so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this alignment stick somewhere about there i'm going to put it in line in line with my lead foot now i'll just bring it back a tad there 
Now the idea of this is, I'm using this alignment stick as a reference point. We're not going to hit it or do anything with it, it's simply acting as a reference point. So if I set up, now let's just imagine I've got a ball right about here. All I'm going to be thinking about, this is one swing thought only, this is all you need to think about to really crush your eyes. As you go back, all I want you to do, as you swing down, I want you to feel like that right shoulder gets up over to where the alignment stick is, or even past it, right on top of that lead leg, post impact. Very important, post impact. So what I don't want you to do, is swing like this, and have it hanging back here somewhere, and you can see it's way behind where this alignment stick and where my lead foot is. This is a really simple drill. You can practice this at home, at the driving range, even do it as a pre-shot routine during a round. But what you want to be doing, is when you make your swing, getting the weight onto that lead side as you come down, but you're not even thinking about that. All you're thinking about is getting that right shoulder up over that alignment stick if you do that, good things happen in your golf swing. And first and foremost is, you get weight shift onto this lead side, and it also helps promote that lag. It's very difficult to get lag if you're doing this, leaning back, but if you can just think about getting that shoulder, watch what happens in slow motion. If I'm going down slow, I got that lag, I hit the ball, and I get that right shoulder over here, that's the sort of swing I want you to be aiming for. If you can do that, you get a lot more compression on your irons, you get forward shaft lean, and you will crush your irons a lot more often. And all you're thinking about is getting this right shoulder over that alignment stick, even over your left foot, post impact, a lot of good things happen. Let's do one more. There we go, right shoulder. Got that one comfortably past that alignment stick. A really slow, easy swing. I got my weight shifted from the right to the left. And there's a very good chance if you can practice that, do a number of reps a day just to get this built in, but just focus on one thing only, getting that right shoulder over that alignment stick. And you'll play much better golf and crush those irons. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to crush your eyes. Maybe you've tried a different drill that's worked really well for you. Drop a comment down below, I will reply to every comment. Now that you know how to crush your irons, it's really important that you look at a couple of other different drills to really cement this great iron position in your game. Because quite often with any swing change or any swing fixes you're trying to go through, what does work for you may not work for someone else. So above this video, I have a couple of additional links that talk about some other drills that work with really getting that compression in your iron shots to help you play better golf. So make sure you check those out, very important. Thanks again for watching. Now below the video, I'll have a link to my free video. It's called Three secret moves make sure you check that out there'll also be a link to some further golf instruction make sure you check that out once again please like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time